So what's significant about the picture of the wolf on the bottle of this Belgian beer? It's beer o'clock and from the Ardennes we have a bottle of Lupulus Triple coming in at 8.5% ABV. Now then, this brewery hasn't been around that long, believe it or not. They started in, in, in 2004 where they just basically brewed um, beers for, for their sort of their, their tavern next door. And then in 2007, they decided to um, put the beer into kegs and sort of go commercially. And they they wanted the idea of the actual beers being in champagne bottles, hence the size of the, the 750ml bottle we have here. But you can get smaller bottles of this now. They're not every beer now that they sell is, is in these big bottles. But that's how it really sort of first started. Um, they're on a 19th century farm in, in, in part of the Ardennes. And it's right beside a freshwater stream, and apparently they use the, the freshwater stream as, as their water source for the beer, um, which is quite interesting. Now, like I said in the intro about the wolf, every bottle, I don't know if you can see that on there, let's bring it up close, about the light getting, there you go, there's a, there's a wolf on the bottle of the beer, on the label, okay. And the story of this wolf, and it's got hops around it, okay, is the name derives from, 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 the, from the Latin name of the hop plant, Humanus lupulus, which means small, humble wolf. So, hence they've got a small um, baby wolf, or cub wolf, whatever they're called, right? Um, on the on the bottle with some hops around it so that's that's the story behind the wolf and it's also on the glass probably see better on the glass actually here we go look okay so without further ado let's crack this beer open and give it a try obviously if anyone knows I, I love my um my triples um never never had this beer before so it's a first so let's crack this Big bottle open. All that smoke come out of that one. A big pop and lots of smoke. Let's get this into the glass. There we go. Right. It's cloudy golden colour. It's got a beautiful white ivory head to it. Let's get the aromas. Oh, very citrusy. Very, very citrusy. Citrus and hoppy. That's how I can describe this beer. Yeah, very, very citrusy and hoppy. Um, there's a little bit of malt there, but it's, it's all about the citrus notes and the hop notes, really. So without further ado, let's dive in, give it a try. Cheers. Another sip. This has to be one of the, the 
bitterest triples I've ever had. It's really, really bitter, but in a nice way, not in a bad way. It is really, really hot in the UK today. Um, it's sort of well over like 30 degrees. This beer is dry, it's bitter, it's zingy. There's a spiciness there of like, like fresh thyme. Um, citrus, hoppy, bitter, dry, refreshing. Um, it's just ticking all the boxes on a hot day. Um, I didn't even know this was going to be like this, this beer. I thought it was going to be like a, a sweet... You can usually triples are quite sweet, aren't they? Um, because you're using triple the ingredients. This is totally insane. It's bonkers. It goes the other way. Never ever had a, a triple that's so bitter, but in a really good way. I really like this, like this, you know. This bitterness and dryness of this beer, I bet it goes, it's absolutely fantastic. If you have a, have a great big bowl of mussels out in Belgium in a restaurant and was to have this with your mussels this this would be perfect this beer would be perfect because a lot of people like to have mussels with a dry white wine don't they at the end of the day and this being so so dry and so bitter would complement mussels even seafood um, a great beer to have with seafood and that's not seafood and eat it I'm really, really impressed with this. The more I drink it, the more I like it. Um, this is definitely a beer which I've probably bypassed on, on beer menus in the past. I've probably looked down a beer menu and seen it and not even probably paid attention to it. Because some of these bars, as you know, the beer menus are so huge, you know, it's you, you don't know what to have half the time. I'm glad I've had this. I am really, really, really impressed. It is... You know, it's ticking all the boxes um, for me. It does everything I want a beer to do. It's really, really nice. It's a lovely drinking beer. Um, like I say, on a hot day, a hot day. What a, what a cracker this is. I'm really enjoying this. Very, very well brewed, refreshing beer. I just say, I just like this, this dryness and this bitterness. Um, it's fresh, it's zingy, it's summery. This is definitely a beer for, let's say, to, to drink while eating seafood and also to have on a really, really hot day. So look, um, go and source yourself a bottle of this. I've, I got this from Beer on Web. It come in a set with they they, they do a they do a brown as well, brown. Um, I think that's eight point five percent as well. So it come in a set, two bottles and the glass from Beer on Web. I forgot how much it was. It wasn't that that um, that expensive. I think it was less than twenty euros to be honest. Might might, might even be even less than that. I, I I didn't really look it up, but it weren't expensive at all. Um, Money well spent, yes, would I buy it again? Yes, would I have it again? Yes, um, it's definitely a beer I will be having on hot days, especially when I'm next in, out in Belgium and it's really, really hot. I know it's gonna be really, really hot. I'll be looking out for this. So, go and get yourself a bottle. 
try it, see what you think, leave me a comment below. Give me a big thumbs up if you like the review. Hit that little bell, get notified every time I bring out a new one. And of course, subscribe to the channel. And like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. Wow. TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly. Wow.